Hey guys, it's me, Poppy Rain here, coming to you with more thread up updates because I didn't film. Um, I just went through my dresses and hoodies and sweaters and skirts and long sleeve shirt. Yeah, so what? I, so all my stuff from my hanging rack, which is sweatshirts, cardigans, hoodies. What else is on that rack? Button up sweater. Short sleeve sweaters. Well, short sleeve cardigans. Um, I'm trying to think what else I have. I have skirts, dressy long sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts. My poncho, my crinoline slash petticoat, um, and then dresses. I went through, I got rid of a bunch of hoodies. I got rid of a couple short sleeve dressy over things or short sleeve sweatshirts. I got, I didn't really get rid of any sweatshirts. I got rid of a couple long sleeve shirts, a couple dresses, like one skirt, like two skirts, my, oh, my short sleeve shirt, short sleeve button up that I had. I didn't get, I filled up, I finished filling up the one bag that I'd already started and I filled up another bag and I put two pair of sandals in there. Because they dig into my toes. So I can't really wear them. And then, like I said, I have six more coming. I have... One more bag to fill. Plus I have a label still that I have to print off. And probably starting next week. This week or next week, depending. I'm going to start... collecting stuff for them to take and whatever buying stuff for them to take um right now i currently have 16 bags that they have to go through i have i don't think i have any let me see i have the ones they pulled up i don't think i have any more on the way to them yeah i have 10 kits ordered so i have 10 kits all together between labels and whatever i have i have one label and nine bags i'm waiting for six of the bags to come five or six bags to come i'm waiting for two to be shipped out tomorrow and one, and then I have one more to fill. And then we currently have, they've received, oh, sorry, they've received 19 kits back. So I'll give you the estimated date on these. We have 5720, whoa, you guys are way too close to my face there, sorry. 5721, 5721, 5721. 5621, 42921, 42821, 41321. I'm just going to tell you these are all in 2021, so I'm not going to keep saying the date, but we have 413, 413, 413, 413, 413, 413, 413, 413, 47, 46, and 46. So as soon as anything should be estimated to be done will be 46. So between the beginning of yeah, so it's between the beginning of April and the beginning of May. So from the beginning of April to the beginning of May is when they should be done. The 
19 kits that they currently have. That's the only downfall with this. And so far, all this stuff is stuff that I've either had to donate or had that I was going to sell on Poshmark that I never did. Was the majority of the stuff. I did go through the rest of my stuff. Um, I've been through like my baby clothes. Because as you know, if you guys know, I have reborn dolls and they all wear real human clothes. So that's what I've mostly been doing at this point. Daddy donated a couple things, not realizing until after the fact that I already shipped them that they don't take men's clothes anymore. They've currently put, like, a major limit on what they take. Just for the simple fact of they don't have a lot of room. Right now, they're really backed up because of COVID and everything. Because I think they have to, like, quarantine for two weeks, for four, yeah, for the 14 days, I think they quarantine the stuff before they receive, before they actually process it, before they can actually even begin to process it. I think that's why it takes, they're currently estimating about 15 weeks per package. Unless you pay the $16.99 to have it fast ship. If I had like, you know, like Louis Vuitton and Gucci and Prada and you know, high-end name brands, it would be worth it. But because it's like Walmart, it's like Wonder Nation from Walmart and Cat and Jack and, you know, like Old Navy and stuff like that. They don't, it doesn't get a high payout. But it's just not even... worth it we're gonna check my wish list and see if anything in my wish list one item in my wish list is sold i did think about doing some retail arbitrage which is when you buy stuff from stores from like brand new from stores and then resell it i thought about doing that with like the sales rack at label shopper because I think I paid like three bucks for a pair of jeans for my girlfriend that were like a zero, you know? So, like, and a lot of times they have stuff like super cheap. I try and keep my cost for my items typically under five bucks. Unless, again, it's a high-end brand. Like, if it's, like, you know, if, for example, I found a pair of Uggs, you know, or something like that, then I would pay a little bit more. But for most things, I try and pay five or under. For things, just so that I'm making a decent profit, because they do take a lot of money. Because, let me tell you exactly, I don't know if it'll show up here, what they So far, yeah, I've, <clears throat> so far I've not earned anything, I've sold nothing, and I have zero items up for sale. But I can't remember, I don't know if it'll tell you, hold on. Yeah. So, they, yeah, it says you can adjust price at any time when items are available for bid or reserved in someone's cart. So, yeah, so they don't do... Like, so here's what the payout is. For items that sell for 5 to $20, you get about 3 to to 
for items to sell from twenty to fifty dollars, you get fifteen to thirty percent of the sales. For items fifty to a hundred, you get thirty to sixty percent of the sales. From items a hundred to two hundred, you get sixty to eighty percent of the sales. And for over two hundred dollars, for two hundred plus, you get eighty percent of the sales. So thread up. So yeah. So sometimes thread up will. Um, sometimes thread up will actually buy the item from you without even listing it. Sorry guys, get my new mug. It's huge. I bought it at a soup mug, but I'm currently using it for tea. So I know it's in here. It's um Madagascar vanilla tea from Celestial Seasons. And the Bailey's Irish Creamer original. Irish creamer and then water. It's amazing. It's growing on me. It's not my favorite, but it's not terrible. What if my item doesn't sell me? Yeah, so, like, if the item doesn't sell, you can, within the, you get a window of how long the item has to sell. Within, if you, within the last seven days, that it's able to be sold, you can reclaim it. And then you can either list it yourself somewhere else, you can donate it, you can do whatever with it, or you can send it back to them and try again. They take scarves, hats, purses, wallets, well, like, uh clutches oh no these are card holders um watches belts gloves all sorts of stuff right now i have 3210 points the points can be used for different things My points right now are good for free shipping, 15% off handbags, wave restocking fee on a returned item, or get $10 off an order. Are currently what my points are good for. I made an order, so I got 90 points for that, because I ordered something. I got 20 points for creating my account, 100 points for visiting thread up and then i ordered and then the other point every time you order a clean out kit you get 500 points just for doing clean out kit just for ordering clean out kits so i look at the overall price like like how i figure out what coupons to use which is what i do with like romley and shannon and stuff too is are you, like, I'll see, like, I'll do the 10% off coupon because it'll let you see before you actually use it. Like, it'll do, like, oh, 10% off. 10% off is going to give you $3 and free shipping is $5. Like, you know, shipping's $5. So, it makes more sense to do the free shipping than it does to do the 10% off, you know? Like, it just depends, like, what's greater. Like, if shipping is $40, then it makes more sense to take the $40 off that for the and do the free shipping than it does to do 
ten dollars off the order. You know, it all just depends on what's greater. Is what I do. But that's my updates for Thread Up. If you guys want to see, I can do a favorites video on what I have currently in my list here. Because there's things for me in here. There's things for Queen Bee in here. I have six pages of items. Honestly. I have so many clothes, it's ridiculous. But yeah. I'm gonna go. Because I need to make more videos for you guys. Because I have not posted a video today. And I have no videos to post for you guys. And I have to edit another video. So, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye guys.